Good day and in this video we are going to try to solve question 2B of the 2022 NCA level 3 statistics paper probability distribution. Without further ado, let's read the question. The company received their stock in boxes of 30 clothing items. The items are checked for defects before being sold. The table below shows the probability distribution of the random variable D, the number of defective garments found per box of 50 clothing items received by the company. Okay, so we're going to push up a bit, okay? Because we need to answer the question. So there's the box, you know, okay? Supplier A, supplier B, and there's the D, okay? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's the probability in the box, okay? Calculate the mean and standard deviation on number of defects per box for 50 clothing items received by company from supplier A. So we look at supplier A first, and then later on we're going to supplier B. To calculate the mean is very simple. The formula to calculate the mean, EX, is going to be sum of XI, PI, or in this case, going to be sum of uh, D, DI, PI. So what you're going to do, you're going to take 0, multiply by 0 0.73, this means sum, plus 1 times 0 0.16, plus 2 times 0 0.09, plus 3 times 0 0.02, that we write right, right there, and the answer comes up to 0 0.4. Similarly, to calculate for supplier B is the same, so now we have to use sum, so D times 0 0.66 plus 1 times 0 0.23 plus 2 times 0 0.07 and 3 multiplied by 0 0.04, and that is the line here, and the answer is 0 0.49. The harder part is to calculate the stand variance, and then we have to square root the variance to get the standard deviation. To get the variance, the formula is EX squared minus EX squared. This EX is the mean here, so you just need to square the value of 0 0.4, which we will be do we're doing it later. To calculate EX squared, so we need to square the numbers here. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. So to calculate EX squared, we just do the same thing. 0 multiplied by 0 0.73, this for supplier A, plus 1 times 0 0.16, plus 4 times 0 0.09, plus 9 times 0 0.02. This can be found on this line here. And if you put in your calculator, the answer is 0 0.7. Okay? To get the variance x, so you take 0 0.7, the answer here, minus 0 0.4 squared, and you put in your calculator, the answer is going to be 0 0.54. And last but not least, to get the standard deviation, you need to square root the answer of the variance here. So square root the, of the 0 0.54, and the answer is going to be 0 0.7348. So the mean for supplier A is 0 0.4, standard deviation for supplier is A is 0 0.7348. So now we're going to calculate... We already calculated the mean for supplier B. We need to do the same thing for the standard deviation for supplier B. To do that, the formula is again there. This is actually the square of 0 0.49, which we will substitute later. So to get your EX squared, this time the same thing. We take 0 times 0 0.66 plus 1 times 0 0.23 plus 4 times 0 0.07 plus 9 times 0 0.04. And this can be seen in that line there. And you put your calculator, and the answer is 0 0.87. Once you have found the 0 0.87, that is 0 0.87 minus the square of 0 0.49, and the answer is 0 0.6299. And of course, to find the standard deviation, okay, so it is not AX, but standard deviation, you have to square root the variance, which is the square root of this number, and the answer is 0 0.7937. So to get the answer there, if you can get this part, that will give you a merit. So now we just calculate supplier B because we need to answer that in the next question. So the mean for supplier is 0 0.4. The mean for supplier B is 0 0.49. The standard deviation for supplier A is 0 0.7348. And the standard deviation for supplier B is 0 0.7937. And we're going to transfer this result to the next question, which is part two of the question. Great. Okay, so hopefully you are following me. So now we shall read the question. The clothing retail company prefers to receive boxes of garments with low numbers of defective items. It is also helpful if the number of defective items is consistent over multiple boxes. Use statistical reason to explain which su supplier fulfills the requirement. Okay, we're going to bring it up a bit, okay? 
So now the plier A had a mean of 0 0.4, the plier B is 0 0.49. So the plier B has a higher number of defective items per box, 0 0.49, compared to the plier A. So now we're going to compare the standard deviation or compare the variation. The plier B has a greater standard deviation is 0 0.7937 compared to supplier A which is 0 0.7348. This indicates that supplier B is less consistent than supplier A. So which one shall the uh, company choose from? So therefore supplier A fulfills the requirement with a low number of defective item and it has a lower average number of defect and it is more consistent in the long run because of the number of effects in each list because they're, they are more consistent because A is smaller number than B so we would uh, both in both cases in terms of mean and standard deviation we should choose supplier A so if you can answer that there's an excellence in this paper and I think you should be able to do well in this paper hope to see you in question 3A of this paper in our next video. Cheers everyone and have a good day.